Hello, this is Kara Dickinson, Dickinson Cattle Company, Barnesville, Ohio. Today our documentary will feature my dad, Joel's young promising bull cut and dried. All great livestock start with a seriously planned pedigree, carefully evaluating foundation genetics to concentrate the strongest breeding is where it all starts. Although the foundation greats are well back in the pedigree, they must be there for strong breeding genetics. Classic was the early horn foundation sire that brought the breed from 30 inches to 70 inches. Don Quixote and Measles were the most correct type in elite style. Measles brought the strong small late spec development. Don Quixote was the source of all black. Texas Ranger added the beef thickness, height, length, substance, and lateral horn. Without Texas Ranger, few cattle would have become of value in the breed. The foundation combination of these four greats fills the pedigrees of nearly all high value modern cattle. Cowboy Tough Checks, the $165,000 bull, is by far the most famous contemporary bull. His over 103 inches Guinness's world record spread gives his progeny extra genetic advantages. Cut and dried is sired by Tough. Tough traces the Texas Ranger 27 times, to Classic 8 times, to Measles 12 times, to Don Quixote 7 times. Dragon Pearl is one of the greatest producers in the breed for both size and horn. She produced three sons in three years, all natural with over a ton and over 80 inches tip to tip. This is Cut and Dried's mother. Dragon Pearl has won three World Horn Awards and produced ten calves. Five are natural and five by embryo transfer. Dragon Pearl traces to Texas Ranger 59 times, the source of size, to Classic 7 times, to Measles 18 times, to Don Quixote 20 times. Drag Iron is the second leading sire beside Tough. He sires great attractive brindles, tall, long, and correct show conformation. He is the sire of Dragon Pearl. Now let's watch Cut and Dry's progression of development. Here he is 11 months old. He is early summer as a 2 year old with a good cow group. This is August, still taking care of family business. In early fall he is looking good. Nearly every cow is bred. Now cut and dried is age 4. He is pushing nearly 94 inches tip to tip. He weighs well over 2200 pounds, thick muscled, tall frame, scoopy horns, and one of the thickest Texas Longhorn Bulls ever. As some bulls do, he has a dirty face habit, but wow, look at that huge hip. When the light is perfect, his brindle stripes are some of the boldest of any brindle species. Cut and dried is 90% bronze brindle. He works great on cows with a lot of white. When he moves across the pasture, it is clear he is in charge of the range. He has never been to a show, but has won a number of Horn Showcase Championships. Look at those tiny ears, the sign of many years of superior breeding. Cut and Dry traces the Texas Ranger 86 times, to Classic 15 times, to Measles 30 times, to Don Quixote 27 times. He is watching his cows. He wants to be the perfect gentleman always the best. Most will never see him walk the pasture. We hope this short film will give a personal feel for who Cut and Dried is.
whose dark brindle progeny is his stamp. They are easy to spot. Cut the Light, sired by Cut and Dried, was ORV TLA All Age Reserve Champion and won the Buckeye Classic Futurity. This calf is special. His calves are often bronze brindle, a rare and beautiful coloration. Cut and Ride H2 has placed well at several tough futurities and shows. The mark of a great sire is consistent, outstanding progeny. Cut and Dried is young. His semen is available for ranches urgent to achieve. Watch for his calves at the leading ranches in several countries. Kara Dickinson signing off. Thanks for viewing the Cut and Dry documentary. If you like this video, let us know. Maybe we will make documentaries of other Dickinson Cattle Company sires.